Welcome back, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, I got a real exclusive guest for you, man. Representing that H Town, that Texas. Y'all go ahead and throw it on up the out there when you see it. I mean, you know, coming from good stock, legendary stock family, and just doing just doing all kind of good business out there in Texas, man. you would never see this once again in your lifetime. So y'all make sure y'all take a picture, take a screenshot, get it close on the screen. We're about to talk some good games, some good wisdom, some good knowledge. Right now, what everybody, if you could, if it's safe to do so, if you're not driving in the car, you're not whipping in the whip, you're sitting on the side, you're listening, please put your hands together for the amazing immaculate, Mr. King. King Show has entered the building, ladies and gentlemen. Put y'all hands together. What's up, my brother? How you doing? Man, I'm cool. What's going down? Man, we just chilling, man. We about to get ready to get into this knowledge with you, this wisdom, get this understanding for the game, and I think we're going to be good. Yeah. All right. So, for the people that don't know, tell them where you're from um, originally. Man, I'm originally from Port Arthur, Texas, down south, man, southeast Texas, to be exact. UGK, Bon B, Pimp C, RIP Pimp, Stack 5, Steven Jackson, where them cats like that from, man. Smile, okay. down, big nuts, man. Hey, there you go. Tell the people that don't know, tell, tell us a little something that's, that made Port Arthur, Port Arthur, that may not know. They may never visit Texas or anything like that. Well, you know, Port Arthur really known for, you know, it's a small town, man. A lot, you got a lot of celebrities. They come up out that town, man, such as athletes, you know, like I said, rappers such as DM, DJ DMD, Pimp C, Bon B, you know what I'm saying, Steven Jackson, Don, Jonathan Balbano, Jamal Charles, you know, just to name a few, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Now, growing up, who are some people you looked at that kind of um, influenced you to do your thing, want to be in the music business? Well, you know, starting off, you know, Scarface, mm -hmm. Bond, you know, the Ghetto Boys, NWA, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, MCA, cats like that, Ice Cube. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's my era, of course, you know, before the Tupac and all that. You know, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's a, that's a good era, too, because those people, they st their names still get mentioned even to this day. They haven't faded away at all, you know? They legends. They legends. Mm -hmm. yeah, they mm -hmm. legends, right. man. That's right. Now, when you when you're looking at the game now, when you're speaking of legends, what, in your opinion, what do you think makes a legend? Do you think it's the lyric? It's the music? It's the lifestyle? It's just being one hundred. It's crazy. It's crazy. You said that because we was just talking. We had a conversation <laughs> at the clubhouse yesterday, man. And okay. It was this young cat talking about the NBA young boy is a legend, and he compared this man to Tupac Shakur. Yeah, and it was a whole argument in the room, you know, and I'm like, how can you even mention this man when mentioning Tupac? You know, so speaking of legend, man, to me, a legend is one who, you know, whether they here or gone, you know what I'm saying? They ain't gonna live on. They still got an influence and impact on you, whether you're listening to their music, you're reading about them, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever it might be, you know? Oh, speaking of Tupac, like, Everybody know Tupac, poetic rapper, this and that. That man set a trend, man, and the man being gone, but the man still living on through his music. He's still being talked about. You know, you're going to hear people, music like Zero, people like mm -hmm. this, Scarface, who real lyricists. And the first thing they're going to say, man, they music touched me like Tupac music touched me. You know what I'm saying? You that's know, right. that's legendary to me. You know what I'm saying? Hey, so, you know. Cool. You know, everybody got their own definitions of legend. You know, like I asked the young kid, I say, what makes NBA young boy a legend? He say, well, if we look at the album sales and this and that, I say, man, bro, <laughs> I say, I understand. No need for no argument or debate, young man. You know what I'm saying? That's your era. That's what you like. That's your opinion. We're going to leave it at that. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, that was his definition of being legendary. Yeah, I understand it, man. You know, just like when we was younger, when, like I'm never forgetting. I'm a little kid. My mom comes in and we listening to, um, you know, uh, Snoop and Dre. Right. And she like, oh, that's Funkadelic. And I'm like, oh, that's Snoop and Dre. And then she put on the joint. And we was like, oh, that's where he got it from. 
Right. It's like when you don't have that reference, man, you got to study before you start speaking. You know what I mean? And as a lot of us, we do that. We speak before we study. So now we sound foolish to somebody that's older that lived through it. They're like, no, that's not where that came from. And they show you, now you like, oh, I get it. And what's crazy, when you get the real essence of the music, like you spoke about Pop and, you know, Scarface and Bun and Pimp, then you can understand what the game's supposed to be about. Do you think that's what the problem is? Because a lot of people not getting the foundation of the game. They just jumping into it and not understanding where it came from. Right, right. You know, it's in it, it, everything you partake in, right, there's music, sports, or whatnot, you know, you, you always got your guard for it. It's like, you know, I try to tell them, man, I used the scenario to break it down to them. I'm like, okay, we're going to use basketball. But it was all okay. good head. I said, we're going to yeah. have LeBron James. We're going to take Michael Jordan. You know what I'm saying? We're going to let Kobe rest in peace. That's my man. You know what I'm saying? But I said, Michael Jordan and LeBron James. Everybody know Jordan is the greatest. You feel me? But LeBron James is working miracles on that court when it comes to stats right now. You mm -hmm. feel me? So, okay, he gonna, he's a legend. LeBron, of course, when he, he gone, he gonna be talked about like, you know, Kobe, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When Jordan gone, he gonna, that's legendary. That's a real legend. That's the definition of being a legend. You know what I'm saying? That's right. That's In right. basketball, you know? That's right. but a lot of people, you know, you got your godfathers in the game, man. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But, mm -hmm. You know, a lot of these young cats, they don't want to pay homage because they don't, they lack the understanding and knowledge of the game, like you're speaking of. You know what I'm saying? Me coming mm -hmm. into the game, you know, I research, fly mm -hmm. myself, okay, let me, okay, this is how they do this here. Master P and Baby, they too influenced on what I did. You know what I'm saying? I told myself, I said, damn, them cats really did what they did, man. They changed a lot of lives. They changed their cities, mm -hmm. their hometown, mm -hmm. other people. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I was on. Right. More like, okay, Master P did it. Look how he blew his town up. People around him changed their life. So I was like, and you know, mm -hmm. everybody know Master P can't rap. You know what I'm saying? But hey, he <laughs> did what he did. It was a super mm -hmm. success and I salute him for that. Same thing mm -hmm. with Baby. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So you know, that, 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 that had a big impact on my decision to get in the game and do what I do, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, you know, I might not, you know, I ain't rich from rapping, but, and you know, I ain't really big on rapping. It's not my passion, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But I can do it, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So, you know, the people around me, they, that's what they do, that's what they love to do. So, hey, that's what we at with it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Wait, no I like that, man. Yeah. I like that. You took some, you took some real game and you multiplied it and you put it towards yourself. Like that's what you're supposed to do. No matter what come of it, your success is still your success. You don't have to sell a hundred million records and go around the world. Whatever it worked for you, it worked for you. Right. And I think a lot of times, bro, we, we are trying to measure our successes by looking at other people. I think that's where you mess up at. So, so just getting a little bit more into you, you know, to your story and to your life. I know you told me once upon a time, you know, you was around uh, Wayne, and tell me about that. Like you was telling me over the phone how you was uh, doing security at first. Yeah, yeah, man. You know, uh, I ran into Lil Wayne uh, 2014. You know what I'm saying? Uh, well, really 2013. You know. I got a phone call about Wayne. You know, Wayne was going through some same situations and whatnot, doing the Drake versus Wayne tour. You know, my people called me, man, I need you to link up with Wayne, woo woo woo, on such and such. You know, he was having, long story short, he had a little situation going, you know, a little beef or whatnot. You know, it wasn't nothing major, you know, to me, but. You know, me and him end up communicating on the level, you know, of what he had going on and whatnot. So, you know, and Wayne chopped it up. I embraced, you know, I embraced him on blind faith. He embraced me on blind faith. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we got down, me, we linked up, man. Young Money and LIE, you know what I'm saying? 2013, you know, doing the, the, Wayne, the Wayne versus Drake tour. You know, I had my people in Austin with him, Dallas with him. He came to Houston, I was with him. And you know what I'm saying? Uh, we really been linked up ever since, man. 
it's been a minute, but you know, I at the, at that time I was like fresh out of prison. So mm-hmm. I was on house arrest. I couldn't really maneuver like that. I had to be in the hive. But you know, I did what I did as a boss, you know what I'm saying? I was working for my line, you know what I'm saying? August straight. You feel me? And mm-hmm. I had to keep in position to fuck with him how he needed to be fucked with, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, so we build our relationship on a personal level from that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, him, hooded baby, gutter, gutter, Mac, man, all of them. You know, I fucks with him the long way. Get out the way. Okay. Yeah, I respect that. How did you and um you and Rocco link up out, out, out this way? Oh, man, uh, I met Rocco at O'Hara's, man, in New Orleans at the casino. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He was in the casino, you know, Rocco liked the gamble, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Well, I cut into him at the casino, man, and that was uh, 2016, mm-hmm. 2015, 2016, one of them years. And man, man, bro, still rocking, you know what I'm saying? That's good. You know, and I ain't on no fan shit, like we, we, we consider each other brothers, you know what I'm saying? I'm with you. Cool. How, how did you how you and Bun link up? Oh, you know, me and Bun just being, I mean, Port Arthur, Texas, from the same neighborhood, yeah. West Side, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, Bun is my mentor, naturally, Trill OG, man. You know what I'm saying? We rep that trio. He's the Trill OG. He's my mentor. I can get on the phone, call him right now. He's gonna pick up and answer. You feel me? Any advice I need on the industry or whatever. He gonna mm-hmm. be there to give it to me. You feel me? Okay. Wrong and cut. You know what I'm saying? Where I lack, he got it. He's he's somebody I consider go far than the game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Speaking mm-hmm. of what I told you, know, boys lack the understanding, but me knowing and being around these cats, I know I'm a game soaker. You know what I'm saying? So That's Bond, right. one of the cats I soak up game from. You know what I'm saying? That's right. That's right. Not with you, man. That that's y'all, that's definitely a legend in the game, legend for Texas. That's the Jay Z of Texas. If you want to look at it like that, you know what I'm saying? The Diddy Real of Texas. Talk. Real talk. You know, Uncle Face. You know what I'm saying? Oh. It's crazy that me and him met. We met okay. back in 2014. I met him mm. in the club out here in Houston called Dalvinport. That was his favorite little spot. You okay. know, they known for the strongest drinks in Houston, Texas. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I met Face in there, man. Blew his wig back, you know. We were speaking, you know, conversing. And, you know, we touched up on the, the topic of Islam. I'm Muslim, you feel me? Okay. okay. I took it there with him. We said that we, we uh, uh, speak and greeting ended up into a two, three hour conversation. And then yeah. from there, he, nephew, put my number in your phone, man. You really intrigued me. You feel me? I can okay. mess with you, so we build a relationship like that. You know what I'm saying? You know, I mess with a lot of them out here, though, man. A lot of these celebrities, when they see me come in contact with me, man, they embrace it. You know what I'm saying? How can you deny I was real? You know what I'm saying? That's true. And you represent that Islam. Now, tell me about that, because I know we we in the South, you know, Christianity is pushed heavily on us. How did you get into Islam? How did that happen for you? Man, I was incarcerated, man, and uh, I was incarcerated and I was around some brothers, you know what I'm saying? It was real profound, you know what I'm saying? Real knowledge been educated, you know what I'm saying? So me, I always seek elevation, you know what I'm saying? I'm always striving for perfection, you know what I'm saying? I always want my, I want my tomorrows to be better than my yesterdays, you know what I'm saying? That's just who I am as an individual, whether it's on some street shit, some Godless, whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? I strive for perfection. But anyway, long story short, uh, you know, I embraced Islam in 94, 95, 95. You know what I'm saying? And matter of fact, tonight, uh, my fam, Stack Five, you know, he just converted to Islam. Okay. You know okay. And they, uh, him and his cat from Philly, they got something on live tonight at nine, nine o'clock tonight. They got something <laughs> on live, on Instagram live like a podcast going on tonight, speaking on religion, racism, who mm. stuff. But that birthed from some controversy that took place on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? With this little cat that I grew up with in the system. You know, he been bashing religions. He been bashing rappers. He been, he really clout chasing. You feel me? I know who you're talking about. Austin White. 
You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I came up with him in the system, man. He was like my brother once upon a time. Now I look at him and I, he's a clown. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know you, know you. You know what I'm saying? When you come to Houston, you used to come stay at my house. You feel me, type C. Versus us stumping within the walls. You know what I'm saying? You know, we didn't gang bang together. Came home, we didn't done a positive thing together. You say, now you on some dumb shit. You feel me? Something that I don't embrace or condone. So, you know, it's, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Stack five. That's my natural family. You know what I'm saying? Not only my brother and face. So that's why I'm rocking this time rocking. You know what I'm saying? So he spoke up on Stack page the other day. I spoke up. You probably seen it. Mm, that's all. We went back and forth for a little bit, but you know, I kept it moving. You know what I'm saying? Said what I had to say and kept it moving. I ain't got time for no internet beef and none mm -hmm. of that. You know what I'm saying? Because I know you. So I like I told Stack, I hate you even entertained it because that's what he wanted. That's what he wanted. So tonight they got something going on about that. You know what I'm saying? I can't wait to tune into that, man, and see what they talking about. Yeah, that's yeah. true. I'm, I'm glad you, you know what I'm saying, you stood up for the for the culture and for the people that couldn't speak on their behalf. Cause man, you know, tearing, tearing, us tearing each other down, it's, it's not the way. It may work for some people, but it's that's not how you're gonna reach people. You know, that's just my opinion. We gotta come to each other with some type of love, you know what I'm saying? Wisdom, understanding, like you said before, some type of peace so we can speak our peace to reach peace. Cause we don't we done we done bang on each other long enough all right. over the world, man. We don't right. destroy each other long enough. All right. Mm, 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 mm. Man. So get more back into your life, you know what I'm saying? On your on your coming ups and things like that. So what what was life like for you as a youngster? Was you, was your father around? Like tell me about your dynamics of your family house. Man, you know, I'm a I'm the baby of six, man. You know what I'm saying? Baby on my mother's side, baby on my father's side. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, family close. You know, we real family orientated, but you know, of course, it was times my father was there, it was times he wasn't. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Which gave me too much time to do other things. You know, to mm. go straight, get out into the streets, find that attention for the streets, you know what I'm saying? Which was my cousins, my big partners, OGs in the hood. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. You know how that go. Once you yeah. once you adopt that, that culture, that lifestyle, and hey, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Got in them streets, man, and dropped out of school. You know, selling drugs, grinding, you know, doing the most. You know what I'm saying? Young, dumb, deaf, and blind. Dumb, deaf, mm -hmm. and blind. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I can't put it no other way. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I was deaf to all the real shit and embraced mm -hmm. all the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you know, uh, with that being said, man, that's, a, that's what led me up to getting incarcerated back in 1993. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I done a 20-year 20, 20 bid. Mm -hmm. Y'all for a murder case that I caught in 93, came home 2013, you know what I'm saying? Cool. But you know, everything been up for me since. Good. You know, doing good, man. Have I changed? Yes, yes, a whole lot, dramatically, you know what I'm saying? You uh, know, Islam had a lot to do with that, you know, my way of life, you know. True. It grounded me discipline, you know what I'm saying? took them veils off my eyes. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Now I see right here, right. I move right. You feel me? Try, man. You know? Try. But growing up in Port Arthur, man, if you wasn't a doctor, athlete, or nothing like that, man, you had to get it from the mud. And it's still like that, sad to say. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's a little town, man. Crab in a bucket town, man. That's what it is. Them youngsters still out there wild, and I'm talking about hard. You know, I don't even like going to my hometown. You feel me? It's that bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know. I know. <clears throat> and it's like, man, you know, the history you did, you laid down the foundation. They don't know. It's like you spoke about the dude speaking about him being a young boy. They don't know. You probably started, helped start the turf. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, man. Praise all be Allah, man, for that. You know, helping the brother see his way up out of there. So we know one day, see, this is this is why I do this show. It's important for us to talk to brothers like you. You know what I'm saying? So when you go back to the neighborhood, you go back to the church, you go back to the land, people know who you are. 
And you can start these programs to help people that's just like us. Because we waiting on a system that's corrupted. They don't care nothing about us. They want to put us, they want to lock us all away. It don't matter who you are, where you come from, where you look like. They want to shove us all in cages, man, and, or either underground. So what did you learn when you got into Islam, when you really saw that this system was against us? I'm sorry, when I say us, I mean black people. I don't care what you identify yourself as. You can be Puerto Rican black, Cuban black, Haitian black. It doesn't matter. You look black when you get in this system. What did you really learn that makes you go, dang, that's messed up? Man, you know, I ain't gonna lie, man. Uh, being in that, being within the bed of the beast, man, for, for 20 years, man. Seeing how them folks hounded us. I knew how they hounded us. I mean, I'm a prime example. I was a victim of the the system, you know, they, they railroad, man, 14 years old, you know, gave me a 40 year sentence. You wow. feel me? It's, it's flies wrapped the body in the millennium. You know what I'm saying? I got that in the early years, early 90s, you know what I'm saying? When he say, gave my home, boy, 40 years, he ain't know what that was. You feel me? That was me. You feel me? Like, mm. but you know, me being young, dumb at the time, you know what I'm saying? I took it in stride. You know, I went down there. It was a blessing and a curse, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it was a blessing and a curse, but uh, down there, man, like them people treated us so bad, man. Like, I'm talking about mm -hmm. slavery. You, you an animal, man. Like, you know, I, I worked 20 years, man, for free. Hard oh, work. Wow. You know, they put us in nothing but fear. Number field, man, like, I'm talking about, I'm picking cotton. You know, while they on the horse, I'm picking cotton, like bent over, picking cotton over cotton rolls. They on the horse saying, you better not stand up. I better not see you stand up or you gonna get a disciplinary case. Yeah, like that's real slavery. You feel me? Like that brought me into realization, like, man, it's modern day slavery for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was hearing about this. Shit, but they got me doing it. You know what mm. I'm saying? They got you picking carrots and potatoes. You on all four like an like an animal. Can't get up. They got spiders, snakes, and everything in these gardens. And you know what I'm saying? We we in water. Lakes, we, yeah, we got water boots on, man. They got big water moccasins, big snakes. They got us hitting on it, you know, mm. chopping up grass 10 feet tall. You know what I'm saying? Like driving, a slave driving. So, yeah, it's real. That's when I knew, like, man, I, we really got to get it together, man. You know what I'm saying? And see, 20 some years later, man, we still ain't got it together. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And they still driving us in this world, in the free world they drive us, you know what I'm saying? And brothers can't see it, you know, speaking of that brother Charleston White, man, like, I don't know if you seen it, but you know, he made a video on YouTube talking about uh, my fam stacking George Floyd. How you gonna speak of a man that's gone? You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about talk bad about this man. Like, it, it, it's crazy, but he got a he got a slave mentality, you know what I'm saying? For the devil, man. You working for the devil, you know what I'm saying? But here it is, you say you're trying to uplift and do this for your community. You contradicting all that. You know what I'm saying? So it's just crazy to me, man. Yeah. Yo, I need to get you with um next time you come back on, once you get done with your the thing you gotta do. Um yeah. we're gonna get you back on with Pope Pope Boy, because that's um George Floyd's other brother. What is he yeah, from? I know Pope Boy. Oh, you know Pope Boy? He's okay. Third okay. Third time. okay. He's from third world eight time. Pope Boy, I know me. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to text him in a minute. Tell him we just had a bill together. Okay. Right. Yeah, yeah. You know, so my cousin had him all over. He was all over with my cousin stay. Oh, that's, that's your cousin. Him. Okay. Okay, I got you now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The one who looked like George Floyd. Yeah, he looked just like him. Yeah. <laughs> And okay. blood related. You hear me? Crazy. Okay. Hey, look at that. Six degrees of separation. He know me too, man. You see him? Yeah, I'll holler at him. Okay. Well, Pope Boy, now I don't know your cousin's stat yet. Okay. Oh, 
Yeah, I'm out man. to turn you on to my fam, though, man. I'm out to turn you on to him. Hey, I appreciate that. Yeah, I like to holler to man. I like to holler at Bob, Rocco, everybody, yeah, man. man. Yeah, we're going to get it popping. You know what I'm saying? Can you come back on? You come back on, too. We do it together, you know? Sure, yeah, it's all yeah. good. Hey, man. Oh, man, it's a powerful story right now. I just want to tell y'all, man, y'all need to make sure y'all tap in, link in. King Show, give us your, um, your social media. How people get at you? How they follow you and find you? Man, on Instagram, man, CEO underscore K-I-N-G S-H-O-O 110, man. King, CEO, King Shoe 110. That's my Instagram, my IG. Lineback, oh. King Shoe on Twitter. Oh, King shoot, my bad. I was pronouncing wrong. My bad about that. King shoot. <laughs> I be messing words up. Um, so let's just jump back to your story. You know what I'm saying? Kick it with you a few more minutes if I can. I know you're uh, busy. I had got things to do. But so moving through your life now, um, and thank you for sharing your story with us too, man, because it's a very powerful story. It's something that people need to see of all ages, man. No matter who you are, let people know you don't want to be. And no system, even here out here in GA, man. You know they 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 still got the chain game. That's another form of slavery too, right. and that's that's crazy. But y'all got it worse. I've been seeing that on TV for a long time. It's this town. I don't remember where it's at. Right. It's the sheriff. He exactly what you said. He sit on a horse with a rifle while brothers is out there in the Houston heat, the summer. For y'all that don't know, the Southern heat, it can't get no worse than that in America. Out there picking cotton it on your work. knees. Hell on earth, man. For real. Hey. So what's next for you, man? You know what I'm saying? Hit the, this 2021. COVID got some things locked down. We already know you're a mover shaking the hustle and go-getter. But can you tell us what yes, you got sir. going on in 21? Man, right now, you know, I just dropped a little EP, man. As a matter of fact, it's called 2021. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So I dropped it, you know, on my little girl's birthday. You know what I'm saying? Okay. January the 9th. 110 day January the 10th of but me and Bum B we working on the compilation man it's gonna be called Trill Everything Over Everything mm. um, and we gonna do that for the home team Port Arthur of course you know what I'm saying but we doing getting out a little up and coming artists in the trio you know what I'm saying who feel like Bun don't mess with them and got a problem with Bun you know he doing this as a favor you know what I'm saying uh, we're going to let them do what they do. He's going to feature on all their songs. We're going to do a big cypher, do shoot videos, do everything, and let the world see who they want to mess with. And whoever they want to mess with, whoever they gravitate off that, that compilation, that's who we're going to get behind. You know what I'm saying? That's going to be the man. That's going to be the artist. Can't nobody complain. Can't nobody say, man, they messing with him. They ain't messing with us. That's right. You're right for everybody. Yeah. Okay, I thought you had one out. We riding for everybody. That's what I'm talking about. I like that, man. I, I like your whole movement, man. Everything about you, man. You just you just a real trail brother. You really are. You down to earth. You approachable. Ever since I met you on Clubhouse, man, you like, come on, man, let's work. You know what I'm saying? You can't get no no cooler than that. I already, I already see what you're about. That's why people need to get behind you. They need to support you. We support all this other stuff out here. You know what I'm saying? They have a right to do that. That's cool. But support the real and the trill too, y'all. When y'all see this, get behind this brother, man. Come show, show this brother some love. He out here in the community. He out here in the music business trying to help other folks. He putting other people on. This brother don't mind getting somebody of a legendary godfather status and getting them to come give you a shout out on your own. On your platform, man. That's cool as on the way. They don't have real brothers like you no more. You you are in the same lineage of the pimp C's and the pox. You know what I'm talking about? And the faces and the buns. And you just they don't they don't make them like you no more, man. You stand up, stand tall guy, ten toes down. I'm telling y'all, y'all need to get behind this brother, man. Please support him. Follow something, like something, you know what I'm saying? Download some music, pay for it legally. Cause I know how we do. We've been, we've been stealing music since forever. Don't steal the man music. <laughs> 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 been, since tapes, since CDs, since uh, yeah. albums. We don't find a way to record these songs. Y'all don't do that, man. Show this man some love, man. Y'all, we pay for everything else. We go to these restaurants, McDonald's and Burger King. This food killing us. And we paying these people a dollar every day. And if you add that up, man, for 30 days, that's $30. You keep on adding it 120 days in, you know what I'm saying, in a year. And you done spent hundreds of dollars on this garbage that ain't helping us. Man, show your brother some love, man. Tap in, link in with him. 
So that's good, bro. I'm glad that you got all this stuff going up. Like I said, I'm gonna hold you too much longer. Um, I just want to uh, get towards the end of the show. You want? Is there anything you want to talk about that maybe we didn't cover during our interview? Man, I just want to tell everybody who listening and who see it, man. Uh, nothing is impossible, man. It can be done. And if you, you know, you tuned in, man, then you, you know it. You know it's right in your face, man. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Like, you know, keep on pushing, man. Like Bun say, that's one of my favorite sayings, man. Keep on pushing. You know what I'm saying? Don't let nothing stop you, because the only thing that can stop you is God and you. You feel me? That's right. That's right. And appreciate you, brother. You know what I'm saying? For a line hey. with you on know, you. You know what I'm talking about? You know, I got to give you yours, too. You feel me? You know, real recognize real, man. I appreciate that, man. No like I say. It don't matter <laughs> where you at in the world, man. I mean... You got to respect it, it connected and respect it, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we showing them. You feel me? We met on a, we met on a, on a clubhouse. You did what I'm saying? Now look what we doing. You know what I'm saying? That's right. That speak volumes, you know? So, yeah, man. That's right, man. I appreciate it, too. Um, like I said, a couple more things before I let you go. Um, tell me about, did you, um, and I saw it online, but sometimes you can't trust everything online. I saw what UGK and uh, A-Ball MJG are supposed to be doing the verses. Did you get a chance to talk to Bun about that? Man, you know, did you tell him? You the one told me that, right? Mm -hmm, I did. You know what? I, I'm I'm going to hit him today. I'm going to let you know, man. Because I, I really, really slipped my mind. I've been having so much going on with my little situation. But, oh. yeah, I'm going to hit him today on that. Because, you know, I don't, you know, like I said, I love to see that one. You know what I'm saying? Of course, I'm rooting for the home team, UGK <laughs> for life, man. Rest in peace, PMC. You feel me? That's right. Yeah, it's real everything on everything with me, man. You hear me? <laughs> but, yeah. I uh, love some MJG and A-Ball, too, though. The Fat yeah. Mac, huh? <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Lay it down, lay it down. Mm -hmm. Big boy. Right. Well, they've been spitting for a long time, too, man. Definitely show them love, respect, too. As well. Legend, man. Legends in the game. You hear me? Yeah. Dog Fathers in Memphis, in they state. Mm hmm. Dog Fathers, mm. man. Mm -mm -mm, man, I tell you, boy. I mean, youngster don't know about, man. You hear me? I feel you. If you, man, that's what I be trying to tell them. I don't care how old you was. If you came through the 90s, man, you came through the best era of music. I don't care what you say. Yeah, we can give it up to the 70s, but you came through the 90s. <laughs> that's the best of the best. That's when them legends was made. Pockets full of stones. Right. Like, come on, man. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. I tell you, man, it's good. That was good times. So, um, like I said, a couple more things before I let you go. Uh, one other thing, I'm gonna play a little game with you. You know what I'm saying? Called the game of sevens. I know you understand that that seven. You know what I'm saying? That seven is a very divine number throughout all the history, throughout all the time, throughout spirituality and religion too. And it's even seven days in a week. And you know what I'm saying, even if you do don't read the Torah, the Bible, the Quran, or the Quran, still God had to rest. God rested on that seven. And we know that the seventh letter of the alphabet stands for G, which could be for God. It could be for Allah. You know what I'm saying? Because God is just a universal term to describe Allah. You know what I'm saying? In whatever respects to that. So you got to choose seven people throughout all of time. And because you are a little God, you also are, you have the powers to resurrect and bring people back like a pimp C, like a Pac, whoever. The reason why you got these powers and the reason why you got to choose seven artists throughout all times. Now, you can choose groups, too. You can say UGK. That could be considered one because they just one group. So you're going on a world tour. We're going on the King Shoe World Tour. Which seven artists are you taking with you? Living the dead because you can bring them back. Uh, Tupac, of mm. course. Biggie, mm -hmm. Pimp C, Fat Pack, mm. DJ Screw. Uh oh. Uh, Nipsey Hustle. Okay. Okay. Uh, how One many more. there were? I think that's six. One more to go. Uh, I'm going to say, man. I'm gonna say Mo three man, even though he a young cat man, that man I I I messed with that Mo three man. 
me too. I found out <laughs> like months before, you know, what he passed away, man. But that dude, man, that dude, oh my God, he was serious, man. He had lyrics and he could rap and he could sing a little bit too. I was like, okay. Y'all, y'all be y'all be producing, man. Texas be producing some some. I noticed this. This is my opinion. Everybody that came out of Texas that's made it, they had they they was even Pimp C. They had they had a little voice and he could rap and he was making their own tracks. Y'all got some talented right. brothers out there for real. I've been doing y'all thing, man. All right, sure. Uh, held you up long enough, man. If you could, I'm just gonna get a quick drop before we get up out of here. Let the people know that the name of the show is called My Celebrity Life. And you know, I'm G Holler. And give us your social media, we'll be up out of here. So just let them know that you're on My Celebrity Life with G Holler. Man, you know, today I tuned in, man, on My Celebrity G Holler, man. Uh, shout out, big shout out to my man, you know, real one. You know what I'm talking about? A to PA, man, all the way from A to PA, man. Port Arthur, Atlanta, man. Y'all tap in with my mans, man. I'm behind him 110%. You know what I'm talking about? Support those who support you. Feel me? Again, man, y'all tap in, man. CEO King Shoot 110, man, on the ground, man. I appreciate that. Thanks for coming on the show, man. It was a dope interview. I love to hear about your story. I hope people get behind you and support you because that's what they need to do. That's what's good for them, good for their soul. I appreciate you addressing the whole Charleston White situation and putting some real out there, some real context, some content, so people will know what they're dealing with and not to get involved with that petty, you know what I'm saying, internet beef because it ain't going to pay you. We ain't going nowhere with it. What's, what's a few yeah. clicks, a few views? Yeah, man, you know, uh, FYI, for those who be tuning in, watching, you know, don't get me wrong, man. He's a very intelligent, ed educated brother. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, like they say, man, if you're using it for all the wrong reasons, man, it don't hold no weight. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's what he doing. He applying it in, in all the wrong ways, you know? So if y'all out there listening to this man, man, entertaining this man, man, y'all just as foolish as he are. You know what I'm saying? And this coming from somebody who know Charleston White. You know, like I said, once again, that man was once like my brother. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, we done did it all together. Like I said, gang bang, got in this free world, done positive things, went spoke to kids, youth. You know, the man got a whole organization called Hype, which means helping young people excel. But that ain't what he doing. He's showing y'all. He contradicting all that. You know what I'm saying? So if y'all, again, just looking at that is in his bio and all that on Instagram. If y'all reading it and he's showing, saying this is what he stands for, but y'all seeing what he's doing, then y'all got a problem. Feel me? Hey, man, you can't get no real in that. Truly than that, please support this brother right here. Show some love so we can, um, next time we do our next interview, you know what I'm saying? We'll be doing something somewhere real fly, real catchy. And uh, y'all just make sure y'all keep tuning in. Bro, I appreciate you being on the slow. Uh, we, we salute you. Hope everything, no, ain't no hope. Everything will work out in your favor. I'm glad you out there, belly of the beast, man. Never to go back again and, you know, take care of your family and your kids and, and yourself and your community. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you like this. We need you out here. We need brothers just like you. And we need you out here to make a difference in this world because only you can. Allah created you to be who you are, the stand-up man that we looking at today that's about his family, his community, and you a real true soldier, not only for the streets, man, but for the people. The people need you. The family needs you. The community needs you. And I appreciate you being on the show. For sure. All right. We salute you. My good brother, we'll holler at you, and uh, take care. All right. All right. Sound cool. All right, y'all. We out of here.